Hello there and welcome to the Minecraft Guide for Beginners. I am your host, Rodron, in this Let's Learn Minecraft series. And if you've never heard of a Let's Learn before, it's kind of like a Let's Play, only with a tutorial-like focus. And in this series, I am going to be bringing you into the world of Minecraft and showing you how to navigate the world of Minecraft 1.15 in a single-player Let's Play series-style tutorial. In this first episode, we're going to be going over how to create a world and some basic just getting started for the brand new player out there. So since you're watching this video, I'm assuming you have at least an interest in playing Minecraft if you haven't uh, already been playing Minecraft. So if you have a bit more experience in this game, feel free to stick around, watch the episodes. Maybe you see something, a way of doing something that I haven't presented yet and you can share that in the comments of each video. Or, you know, you might just learn a trick or two. So, without further ado, let's get into this and let's create a uh, new Minecraft world. And we're going to call this world the Minecraft Guide for Beginners. We are staying in survival. Um, I'm going to turn the cheats on. I'm not going to be using them to further, you know, spawn resources or anything like that for me in. But I may want to do an episode on things such as... Uh, command blocks and other items that you can use in your own single player world. Our world type is going to remain default. We're not going to have a bonus chest. We are going to generate structures and we're not going to have a predetermined seed. So what's going to happen is that the game is going to generate a random seed, which is the value that goes into the world creation engine and kind of randomizes that uh, procedural world generation. So all of our options are set. We are in survival. We have a world name and we are going to create the world. Okay, and we are here in our brand new Minecraft Guide for Beginners world. Now, let's cover a few basic controls here. What I'm doing right now is I'm just panning my mouse to the right on my mouse pad. And it makes my camera pan to the right. Go to the left, it makes my camera go to the left. Push my mouse forward, camera goes up. And pull my mouse back towards me and the camera goes down. So, so that covers the basic looking around mechanics. Now, we're going to move around. We're going to use the W key on our keyboard to move forward. The S key moves us backwards. The A key will strafe to the left. And D will strafe to the right. It's a system of movement known as WASD. So if you play other games that use the same style WASD movement, then you should be familiar with moving around the Minecraft. Now, one thing I always like to do is I like to go into my options and turn off auto jump so as long as auto jump is off we're in good shape because it's easy enough to press the uh, space bar like that to jump now shift will make us sneak and I'll go into third person view here so while we're sneaking we can't fall off the edge of blocks so let's move over to the edge of this block over here and seeing how we can't fall off we let go and we move off and we fall so while you're sneaking around, you can't fall off blocks. So that's an important key. I use that quite a bit. And then we have the control key, which is our sprint key. Tap it and then move it in a direction and you'll sprint in that direction. Ooh, there's a zombie growing back here. That zombie, he's a bad guy. He will try to hurt us. And mobs, unfortunately, cannot spawn in lit up areas. So right now it's daylight out. Mobs can't spawn up here and they can't attack us, but that sun will be going down and mobs will be coming out and we need to have shelter before then. Okay, so let's take a little, let's take stock of our area here and we need to harvest some resources. So one last control here, the E as an elephant key will bring up our inventory window. This is where we manage our inventory, what gear we're gonna wear, shield. We can do some basic crafting and create some very basic tools. So 
let's go ahead and let's start gathering some resources. So I'm just holding down my left mouse button and I'm punching this block and the block broke and now I have an oak log in my inventory. I can use this crafting interface to turn that oak log into four oak planks. And now it's, you keep seeing in the upper right there, new recipes unlocked, check your recipe book. This right here is the recipe book and it shows me what I can craft and it shows me the recipes that I know. So I have four planks, I can create a crafting table. And what that does is I place it with the right mouse button. So let me back up just a little bit here and I'll show you guys a little more slowly what I did here. So I put the crafting table, I took it out of the output slot, I dropped it onto my hotbar. This bottom row is your hotbar. You can access those buttons with the one through zero, uh, one through nine keys on your keyboard, I'm sorry. One through nine keys. So when, uh, when there's an item in the active hotbar slot, it will show up in your right hand. I can now right click and place that block down into the world. I can right click the block and now I have a three by three crafting grid that I can use. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish punching this tree down and create some basic wooden tools that will help us on our way here to get our... That will... And create some basic wooden tools that will help us on our way here to generate some sort of shelter for that first night so we can survive when the sun goes down. So I'm going to take one log, I'm going to turn it into four planks. Now, you can turn planks into sticks, which is important because we'll need sticks for a variety of things, uh, most notably crafting tools. So if we take three planks in a 90 degree fashion like that and we drop in a, two sticks, we can create ourselves an axe. Now it's a wooden axe because we use wood for the axe head. If we had put cobblestone there, we would have a stone axe and if we had iron ingots, we would put it, have an iron axe. Wood tools are so are very entry level, so they're very slow and they have low durability. The upgrade from wood tools is going to be stone, and then from there to iron, and then from iron to diamond. Technically, you can make tools out of gold, but they have very low durability, so it's not really worth it. So let's go ahead and go ahead and craft up a full set of tools here. So we're gonna need a pickaxe, need a shovel and a hoe. We'll make another set of sticks and we'll make ourselves a sword just in case we do need to fight. And then we'll pick this up and let's look for a spot where we can uh, either find a few sheep. Now sheep, when we, when we kill a sheep like this, they drop wool. So we can take wool and planks and three across and make ourselves a bed. The beds are very important because once we, if we, once it gets dark out, we can go to sleep in a bed and that will fast forward time through to the next morning. So that means mobs won't have as much of a chance to spawn and attack us. So it's like there and create our bed here. Okay. So we have our bed. We have harvested some basic resources. And we covered movement and inventory management. Oh, one more thing that I want to show you in inventory. For extra storage space, you can craft yourself a chest. That when you, and then when you put the chest down into the world, you can put stuff inside that chest. So from there, between your, in your character inventory and your chests, you should be able to hold quite a few resources. And if you break a chest, it drops its contents on the ground, so you have to pick up all that too. So you can't once you put a chest down and put stuff in it, you really can't move it around in the world without having to empty the chest, break it, move it, place it, and refill it. Now later in the series, we'll get into and we'll get, talk about an item called a shulker box that will allow us to put stuff into a chest and move it without actually having to go through all that rigmarole. And there are also ender chests in the game. Which allow, which function a little bit differently, and we will cover that once we get to that. Okay, so to recap here, what we have done, we have created ourselves a brand new Minecraft 1.15 world. We've covered basic movement through the game. 
uh, using the W key to move forward, the S key to move backwards, the A and D, key, D keys to strafe left and right respectively, space is to jump, and the mouse is to look around and kind of steer your character through the world. We've also covered basic inventory, so the hotbar here, and you, as well as your character's inventory, as well as these represent slots for armor that the, your character can wear, and he can also carry a shield, or, pro tip, put anything really into this offhand slot. But we'll get more in depth on the offhand slot in a future episode. We've also talked about harvesting resources and how you can use tools to speed up the harvesting of resources. I'm just going to go over here and pick up some of the stuff here. And we're going to knock down one more tree. Now the axe, if you notice, is making it a little bit faster to take this down. So that's where tools are important because they'll make it faster and easier to harvest resources. So now we're going to basically end this episode with a handful of resources. We got a basic set of wooden tools and a little bit of food, a bed, some meat. And I think we're pretty well set here. I'm going to go find us a spot to get tucked in for the first Minecraft night. And then in the next episode, we're going to go over day one in our Minecraft world. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, be sure to do so so you don't miss future episodes of the Minecraft Guide for Beginners. And if you like this video, go ahead and throw a, th a thumbs up down there so I know that you're enjoying the video. If you have any questions, drop down to those comments below and feel free to ask away. And I will see you next time on the Minecraft Guide for Beginners. Mm -hmm.